Okay guys, got a new shoulder workout today. A super drop set shoulder workout. We'll start a little different today, it's gonna be a little bit more intense. This is gonna be great for mass building, lean mass building, burning calories, building strength, mind and character, strength of body at the same time. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do our active warm-up, our pre-exhaust. This is gonna be a little bit more intense. Usually we're just doing the lateral raises. Today we're gonna do the ropes. If you get those big ropes in your gym, great. Or big chains if you have them. Again. What we're going to do is we're going to do four to five sets here of grabbing the ropes and we're going to do big rotations. So it's going to be ro rotating out, not rotating in. Walk our, our goal is to hit the part of the rear delt, part of the medial delt, warming it up when we go into our pressing movements. This is hard. It's like 30 seconds going to kick your ass. We're going 45 seconds to a minute. Guys, I really want you to push 45 seconds to a minute. Women, these ropes are a little heavier. Your goal should be 20 to 30 seconds. I'll demonstrate. Okay, step back. Now, our the goal is big rotations. And we're going as fast as we can. Okay, part two is active warm. So we're going to go in from our rope rotations into a standing inverted body weight press. If you can't do this, it's fine. You guys can do dumbbells. Um, but really, some great strength movement, great way to build mass, thickness to the shoulders. Great warm up, great pre exhaust. So again, we're going to use the wall, we've got a pad against the wall. We're gonna flip our feet up against the wall. Be smart here, guys. If you've never done this, it can be a little dangerous. You're not gonna kill yourself, but you could hurt yourself. We're just looking for five, eight, 10, 12 reps, just to get the shoulders pre-pumped. And then we're gonna go right back into the rope rotations. So four sets back and forth of each. Here we go. Oops. Two, super set. We're gonna do dumbbell press to a seated lateral raise. We're looking for 10 to 12 reps on the dumbbell press. Seated lateral raise, we're going 12 reps till failure. I mean, if you get to 12, go to a failure. If that's 15, fine. If you pick two right away, that's 20, that's fine. Why are we doing seated laterals? We want to take momentum out of the equation. That's gonna give us the best contraction, the most focus in the medial deltoid, and width to our shoulders. So again, seated, so our legs stop our motion. Okay, constant tension on the delt. That's what we're after. We're gonna go five rounds back and forth. Once we complete the superset, 60 seconds rest max, okay? Again, here we go, 10, 12 reps. chest, squeeze. See how my legs stop the motion towards the bottom? That creates using momentum. <clears throat> it takes it out of the equation, I'm sorry. Focusing right on the flexion of the medial deltoid. Now as you get tired, if you can't come up to here, that's fine. A lot of studies lately are showing that you get just as much benefit or even more when you're tired only coming say to here or to here. So keep going, regardless of how tired you get and how far you can carry. It's one superset. 60 seconds rest, five times through. Okay, part three. Two part superset here. We're going to go kneeling pivot press, 12 each arm, okay? Drop and go into a standing straight bar front raise, front raise a little bit wider than the shoulder grip, okay? That's one superset. Again, 60 seconds rest four times through. On the last set, last superset, okay? We're gonna go pivot press 12 each arm, and then we're gonna bring it in the middle, and we're gonna rep it out to a failure. Then we go into the straight bar front raise, we're gonna do our 12 reps, and then we're gonna do a drop set till fit. I'll demonstrate. Again. Single arm. Now we want to make sure that we're not too far away from it. We want to be pressing up vertically. So you want to get our arm under, try to keep the elbow underneath the hand. Press it. Up 
see leg opposite hand up. Now if that was in my last set here, I would bring it in the middle. Press to the As I come up, with my head and shoulders forward, so I'm squeezing the tie-in on my front delt. Okay. Right into the straight bar front raise. each arm. Superset straight bar front raise. A little bit wider in shoulder width. On the final superset, 12 each arm. Bring both hands together. Press till failure. Into the straight bar front raise. Into 12 reps. Drop set till failure. Sounds good? Get it. Turn the hands out, sort of like this. So when we're doing the, the cable, we're doing the cables. We're coming out like this, squeezing, and then with the dumbbells, with a lighter weight, I'm going to squeeze like this. And then we're going to come right into a front raise, thumbs up, work on the tying of our front delts. 12, 15 reps on that. So again, cross grab, get a good flat back. Second part of the superset on the incline bench. Now I grab the dumbbell here. I'm gonna grab it to the outside of the dumbbell. It's gonna help me be able to bring it out like that. So again, grab the outside of the dumbbells, with the arms dead hang, squeeze the rear delt. Focus on contraction. Okay, I'm going lightweight here, 20 pounds. can't get all the way up, it's like a lateral fly. If I can't get all the way up to here, it's fine. Come back to here. You're still working. Okay, now we're going to a front raise, thumbs up. Get the dumbbell higher in your shoulders. Seconds rest, we we'll go back to the bent over cable flies. If you guys want, you know, shoulders, you want big shoulders, especially for a bigger guy. It's hard to develop a shoulder to 
be congruent with the rest of the body sometimes. Depending on your body type, your shoulders may not be an area of strength. With me and all my shoulder surgeries, they cut through all my muscle. I had dead spots in my shoulders, couldn't get them to grow. So I had to really develop an effective plan of how do I get that muscle growth back? How do I get that mind-muscle connection? Doing these, these workouts, these supersets, these drop sets, it's gonna give you full crowns on your shoulders. Thick rear delts, front delt tire. I mean, look, I got scars that cut through everything. I told me I never, I never have good developed shoulders again. I went from a weak point to a strong point. But it's all in how you work. Just come in doing the same workouts each week, you're gonna have the same results. Think outside the box, self-generate your success, write your own history. Enough said. Okay, part five. We're doing straight bar side bar. It's gonna sound funny. We use a straight bar because of the width of the bar, it's gonna cause us to use more stabilization muscles. It's gonna allow us to add more width, more separation on the, on the side devil, which what we want, give us the illusion of wider shoulders. Now I'm gonna hold on to the, to the side of the cable rack here. I'm kinda of gonna lean into it. That's gonna give me more of a stretch at the bottom. It's going to make it harder to flex at the top, that's what we want. So again, straight bar, we're going to go, we'll call this 10 reps till failure. Okay, nice and slow, squeeze. Now the bar's going to want to turn, front to back on you, you have to try to keep it flat. We want to go heavy, but we want to be able to control it. Okay, we're going to do a shrug medley here. On the Smith machine, we're going to do put moderate heavy weight. We're going to go 10 reps fast, 10 reps slow, 10 reps fast, 10 reps slow, all the way to 100 reps, 60 reps, whatever. We're going to go as many as we can, okay? Again, three plates on each side. You guys, you guys know on Smith machine and shrug, it's not very heavy. So we're gonna shoot for 100 reps here, 10 slow, 10 fast, 10 slow, 10 fast. You gotta have your reps. Your forearms are gonna quit. That's gonna be one superset. Then we're gonna go back to the side lateral raise, back to the short bend, four times through of everything. 